just succeeded in high school, I was really, 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 really shy. Like painfully, deathly shy. And um, I mean, I was outgoing and fun with my, my best girlfriend, but, and we were kind of crazy and known as the terror twins when we got together. But for the most part, um, guys terrified me a lot. And I didn't even have my first kiss in high school. So I was kind of a dork, like a big one. And all I did was sit in class and draw and read comic books and uh, just read and pretend like I was paying attention. So, uh, but I always wanted to be in a band in high school. Being in a band was a big thing. Like I would lay in bed at night and like dream about being in a band. And, and I used to be so scared of failure. Like that was my biggest fear in high school was like, I couldn't do that. Like what if I fail and what if it doesn't go anywhere? And what if I waste my life? You know, as a teen, I was already thinking that way. I, I was quite the, the wild one in high school. I mean, I did really good in, in school, so I guess that's what made it so easy to be as bad as possible. But um, I guess without getting too personal, I was a little pirate when I was younger. I was a total nerd in high school. Um, I had that awkward stage of long, curly hair. Um, and it was not straight. Uh, <clears throat> I played a lot of drums, I wore glasses, and uh, I tell myself not to worry about stupid things. Live in the now. Focus on tomorrow, not yesterday. Uh, yeah, yesterday. They used to call me Nikki Devil when I was younger um, because I was a little instigator and I used to make everybody do, you know, bad and illegal things. And, uh, so I was just, I became like, you know, the devil on your shoulder and always, but you know, everyone had a great time, you know, unless you got caught that day. Well, I'm still a teenager, but something I told my younger self was um, to enjoy life a little bit more. I was very determined always, so to enjoy life and to not stress too much about being successful and to just let life play out by itself. I was a weirdo in high school. Like, I mean, I would try to push buttons. Like, high school to me was a giant social experiment. So, like, I would come to school wearing eyeliner. If they got made fun of, I'd go the next day wearing lipstick. And I'd just keep escalating it until people got the point that it didn't really matter to me. So I wouldn't really tell myself anything because I kind of liked that about myself. So I wouldn't change it. And if I could go back, I would tell myself just to chillax, just chill out and go for it, and the only way you're gonna fail is if you don't try, and give it a shot, you know, and give it your all, and, and it's gonna work out. And there's gonna be a time when you're not the ugly duckling, you're gonna be the hottest chicken rock. Someday, just hang in there. And uh, who knew? I, I did, personally did not see that one coming, so I would, have to, I would have told her, like, look, someday you're gonna be, you're gonna be all right. I still like that in the way that I like looking a certain way, but I don't think, Look-wise, I'm trying to piss people off. I'm trying to do it because I like it. There's obviously some things I want to tell myself, but I have to like really think about it. Because I mean, like all those bad times you go through when you're younger, you know, makes you strong enough to be today. But there's a lot of things that I'd, I'd want to fix. I don't know. I have to like get my younger self and maybe beat him up a couple times.